Migration Gravel Race 2023. Welcome to stage two. After a little bit of rain overnight, the riders were eager to get away on surprisingly dry roads. Jumping into stage two, the queen stage of the race. 180 kilometers, 2,550 meters of climbing. This was a huge challenge lying ahead for everyone. Small little bits of muddy patches right at the start were not too much of a problem for the riders, but unfortunately, Lydia Iglesias, third place on stage one, took a tumble in the first few kilometers, broke her wheel, and was out of the race for the day. Back at the front of the bunch, there were dust clouds forming as the riders were trying to make a difference and get away to gain a small gap and advantage ahead of everyone else for what was lying ahead. Annabelle Fisher, winner of the women's race in stage one, took a small tumble. With a little bit of help from her friends, she was up again super quick, was able to get back to the bunch that she was with, not losing any time at all. Very impressive recovery. Lucas Baum, winner of stage one, was on a mission. He wanted to repeat his impressive performance of the previous day and knew that he was in a chance to take two for two. The bunch really started spreading out and pulling long in the dust clouds as everyone continued chasing for the big climb that was ahead. The East African trio of Kenneth Karaya, Ndungu Kaya and Salim Kipkenboy were eager to make up after a slightly disappointing stage one of the race. Luis Angel Mate and Lucas Baum put in a dig and got away from the rest of the bunch. They knew they had a slim chance to build an advantage before the big climb. While well, Annabelle Fisher continued to extend her lead, coming up to her favorite part of the day, the big climb, her speciality. This 15 kilometer monster of a climb was even worse because there was an extra 10 kilometers of false flat before you got to the real thing. Luis Angel Mata and Lucas Baum continued to work really well together, building up a solid lead over the rest. Second and third place on stage one, Lachlan Morton and Mattia De Marti continued setting a strong pace on the front of the bunch so as not to let Lucas and Luis Angel Mata get away while a whole multitude of riders enjoyed their slipstream and being pulled along. As a real climb started, Lachlan Morton, Mattia De Marti and Seth Hakizimana broke away from the rest and set a blistering pace up the climb, trying to keep Lucas Brown and Lu Luis Angel Mata in reach. The climb felt never-ending for many of the riders and there were more surprises in store. Annabelle Fisher was doing a great job extending her lead, but she knew that Amity Rockwell's technical skills were going to stand her in good stead as they went over the top. There was another huge surprise in the men's race as Luis Angel Mata took a slightly wrong turn and lost time, while Lachlan Morton caught up to mountain biker Lucas Baum on the downhill, with Mattia De Marchi on his own in the middle. Amity was able to catch and then overtake Annabelle, having loads of fun in the technical sections of the race. Annabelle held on for a long time, but then slowly started to lose ground. Back in the front of the race, Lachlan and Lucas continued the pairing that they had on stage one, building up a strong lead over the rest of the field and really working well together stopping at the feed stations together and sharing the workload really fairly. Also having a load of fun passing some unexpected local traffic that was out on the roads. These two riders were clearly on a mission as the German and the Australian rider worked together so well and opened up their advantage over the rest of the field.
Coming towards the end of the stage, Lachlan was spending ever more time on the front as Lucas seemed content to sit on his wheel. But in the final few hundred meters, Lachlan proved that he was the strongest, taking the stage with Lucas right behind him. An amazing result for these two riders as they pushed hard all day long. Mattia De Marchi was several minutes down in third place, having ridden the latter half of the race entirely on his own. In the women's race, Amity Rockwell had her head down and was continuously pushing, never knowing where her rivals were and not taking any chances. Coming towards the finish, Amity had no one else in sight, but she knew that she had to keep on going as she'd lost a large chunk of time in the day before. She crossed the line with her hands in the air and a big smile on her face, exhausted after an amazing performance. And there we have it from an amazingly exciting stage two of the Migration Gravel Race. Annabel Fisher leading by a small margin over Amity Rockwell and Lucas Baum leading Lachlan Morton, two in each category clearly above the rest. Yeah, it was like perfect after the rain last yes. night. Yes. So much grip, so you could just let go of the brakes and just like... Oh, let it rip. So, yeah, super, super fun. Uh, and yeah, I mean, that's just a really cool stage, you know? Like, there's so much epic terrain, cool trails. You know, you go from like, rocky kind of gravel paths to like super smooth goat track, single track, you know, like through some forest and then like you go through people's backyards and through schools and mm. it's a very special course. Super strong again. I was about, I thought you were going to say you look fucked. <laughs> because I am. <laughs> no, it was a tough one. Really tough one. It was, um, yeah, a fight of survival for me and I, I really felt didn't feel that good. I think uh, <clears throat> the the altitude is really killing me. Okay. Like going one super high, I can I really never. I could never recover. And today I was a passenger of Lachlan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad that he's also here. And, and we all always find ourselves in the front again. And, and I think we're kind of similar style of riders. I was basically on the limit what he can do with a gravel bike today and then the downhill. I, I wish I had my, my mountain bike with me because there were some nice trails today. Yes. Like that could be um, uh, another, I mean if, if you told me today stage is one stage of an, another famous stage race in, in South Africa. Yes. Uh, I would believe you. So. Um, Amazing. It was, uh, yeah, d definitely respect to everyone who's finishing today with a gravel bike and um, with, with probably less training than me and, and less power. So I hope everyone makes the time cut today and uh, Amazing. is able to, to start tomorrow. This is like exactly the kind of riding that I'm like all about. This, this is, is why like, you ride your bike? It's what I do at home. I live in the mountains so I felt kind of at home today. <laughs> uh, so much fun. We hit the technical stuff and I was just having a really fun time. <laughs> Um, and I found Annabelle on the technical stuff and she seemed to be like a little less comfortable there so I knew that and I knew we had a big descent coming so I I took it easy and rode with her until then and then I made some moves <laughs> and then just like went as hard as I could because I think maybe she's a stronger climber so I knew I wanted to hit this last hard climb with a, a good gap but it's weird because you just don't know anything out there, so... <laughs> You're riding blind. I mean, I, you I kind of have to pretend like they're 30 seconds back no matter what. <laughs> like, that's the only way, like, mentally to go about it, so... Join us tomorrow for more.